up, wedding nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Suijin no Ikini chapter 7 and oh my god I can't believe we got another chapter of this and we didn't have to wait like two freaking months. But before we get into this live reaction, um, something that I started doing this last week as part of the Nerdigans Inc. expansion is um, I'm starting to do a Manga Nerdigan uh, weekly podcast where all of us as manga fans get to get together um, on Saturday nights and discuss uh, the week's previous manga chapters and like discuss what we thought of them, um, discuss and like what we think is going to happen in upcoming chapters and. The best part about this week's Manga Nerdigan uh, podcast is not only do we get to discuss Suijin no Akini, we get to also discuss, like, Attack on Titan, because that came out this week, Dragon Ball Super, we get to discuss Akami Gakiru, and um, Seraph of the End. There's a lot of manga chapters we get to discuss. And it's not just me talking with you guys, you get to be a part of it too. I'm going to have a Google Hangout set up, so you guys can jump in with me, and I have a chat room and all that. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm experimenting with the time. Um, this it's good. Um, the podcast will be this Saturday night at 11:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I can't wait to chat with you guys about all the manga this week. So anyway, let's get to the live reaction. So last time for Suji no Akini, it was really interesting because you had the water god like he was just going nuts. He was like on a rampage because of what happened. And um and then he realized because he knocked her into the water, he was just like, oh fuck, what did I do? And uh Subaru saved her and oh my god, they're so cute together. Oh my god, I loved her. I I love them. They are so cute. And the water god and the wood god um are helping them survive, or like with the assistance of the wood god. And I love the interactions with the gods. They are so they are so funny. I love them. But God, they like this is just getting really interesting because they they have to interact with the gods to survive. But we're gonna see what happens because like this relationship that's going on, it's kind of it really is making. I don't know if you nerdigans are thinking the same thing that I am it's like it's very much like a Sashomaru Rin relationship to me it really is because just the way um the behavior is like the water god is just so much like Sashomaru he just is okay um anyway without further ado let's get to the chapter and hopefully I'm not gonna cry like I have been the past few times here we go He's watching. Oh, she was small and light. I think it's not likely for me to do something like hold someone, hold someone in my arms. I was able to shake her off so easily. Oh, and then he's wait. You're just gonna leave her there. I guess I understand why he's doing that, because he, he's going to let her be with Subaru. Why did I hide myself? That belongs to me. Yeah, why did you do that, Water God? That's your woman! How absurd. She's a tribute that was forced onto me. It would be fine if I just sent her back. Whatever happens is up to me. But I have a feeling that I shouldn't do whatever I want. When she looked at me, she made that face. I saw fear. I'm scary to her. And if I send her back, she would surely cry again. People cry when they are sad, even though nothing beneficial um, comes from doing so. Your tears shall become a shield that protects you. When you cry, the sky will cry and wash away those who hurt you. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! When the sky cries, um, the sky cries and you cry, this person shall come running. sick for a while and that's why this video is um late I should have had this video up yesterday so excuse me but oh god this is so sweet so the water god gave her this power to cry so when, it, when she cries um she will bring rain with her and when um it rains 
It will have the power to bring Subaru to her. But the question is now, is what's going to happen when Subaru dies? Like, do, will they have immortality? Because I think Asashi, I don't know what the Water God's going to do with Asashi, if Asashi has immortality, or what's going on. It, it's going to get interesting. Anyway, hey, Asashi, did you really catch the, um, a fish earlier? They keep escaping. Uh, they keep escaping. Subaru-sama, there he is. He really did get carried downstream. Thank goodness that you're safe. Your mother is worried about you. I was scared of the adults. Oh, the action cried in there's the rain! That's so cool! Whoa, rain! Rain? Yes, rain, motherfuckers! Stay the fuck away from Asashi and Subaru. Please forgive us. You're um, under the water god's protection after all, aren't you? Everyone is saying that the flood that attacked the village is a uh, punishment for hurting you. Please, please suppress this anger and protect our village. Adults were um, prostrating in front of um, a very young self. To me, that was bizarre and startling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I didn't do anything. Will you not even let me shed my own tears? So this is like a punishment for her too, if you think about it, because now, like, she can't even cry tears of joy. She can't even cry out of, like, out of frustration. Like, is the purpose was to have, like, tears of sadness. Oh, that's so, that's cool, but it's, like, so frustrating. Please wait, Asashi-sama. Asashi-sama. Whoops. Ah, um, Sukihiro, uh, wait. Butchering this. Sukihiko-sama. What should we do? Perhaps she doesn't uh, like her temporary residence. She's trying to run away. She's not running away. She wants to go home. Go home? You mean the Sub Subaru-sama's house? Asashi-sama, let's talk for a bit. Please come this way. Sorry, this is just part of my cold where I'm going to have sniffles. I was put in charge of your care. My name is Suki, um, Sukihiko. Wait, it's close. It seems uh, you want to go home, but I think it will be difficult to do so. Please don't get mad. I understand that you're scared. I am sen sensitive to other people's feelings. That's why even though your voice won't come out, I can pick up on your feelings. By the way, right now you're thinking something like, this guy sure is shady. To start with, his face is shady. His drooping eyes are shady, right? Was I right? Getting an accurate reading of myself leaves me with very mixed feelings. Um, earlier when I said that it would be difficult to go home, that's because I know someone who is like you. Woo! This is interesting. She was a village shaman. She suddenly showed up one day, uh, clad in strange garments and using strange words. However, she was wise and held knowledge that even people overseas didn't know. She miracu miraculously saved many people. Before long, she became a reverend shaman. However, she always longed to return some to some place. Aunt, you want to try meeting her? You want to um to go to her village? I see. I'll get permission. I can go home where my mother, where uh, my father and mother are. I'll ask that person about the way back. Um, surely I'll be able to go home. That's what I thought. No matter how different this um, electricity-less scenery is or how many alien mountains there are, as long as uh, this strange world is my own, there's always a way. There is a way to go home. Uh, we've arrived, um, Asashi-sama. This is her grave. She passed away. She left behind some... Oh, she's... Well, she died. She never made it back. That's really sad. She never made it back. That is really, really sad. Like, I, I gotta say, Sashi, what do you fucking expect? But she's a kid, so I I'm giving her a pass. She left behind some uh, strange articles. Will you, um, will you take a look? Oh, wow, there's a cell phone in there. Busted one at that. Asashi-sama, I... I can't go home. No shit, you can't go home. She was an adult, a doctor. Oh, that would explain a lot. You know, that actually explains a lot why she was able to heal so many people was that she's a, a doctor. Such a person couldn't go back. You know, that explains a lot. 
Um, to me, that explains a lot why she could, it's probably not a matter of couldn't go back. She probably didn't want to. Um, she probably, she just, wait a minute. There wasn't a, because I'm just thinking of World Trigger right now, of what um, happened this last week in World Trigger with Chica, and it's not a matter of wouldn't or couldn't or didn't want to. Like, she just, it's more, you know what? It's more of, like, to me, it's more of, like, a didn't want to kind of thing. She probably found a way, because there's always a way to f go back. It's probably, because she's a doctor, she probably just didn't want to because, as a doctor, you're always needed. And a doctor in modern times is always under a lot of stress. I just have a feeling that she felt like she was needed there in this time to heal these people. So that's just my thing, my line of thinking. I want, I'm, I'm curious what you nerdigans think. But my, my, my thought on this is that I feel like she maybe found a way and she just chose not to go. Either that or she didn't even think about trying to find a way back. Or, and she just wanted, and she just felt at peace. Or, like, she tried to at first and then she's like, you know what, fuck this. I'm happy here. I'm treating people here. Like, why would I go back to the stressful life of being a doctor in modern times when these people need me here? While she searched for a, a way to go home, her life ended just like that. I thought this land was somehow connected to my hometown, but there's no such thing as a way back. These worlds aren't linked together. It felt like I was standing before my own grave. Finally, an answer. I can't go home. I must li live in this world. Oh, Subaru, Subaru, what should I do? Your sap your sapphires are melting. Papa's and Mama's voices and faces are disappearing. Everything's going to disappear. No, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. I'll... Sorry, I'm just waiting for this. I'll melt down into this earth. Oh, that's so sad. I feel so bad for her. Like... Part of me thinks that there's, like, part of me thinks the water god knows a way to get back. Like, there, there's got to be a god that knows how to get her back to her own time period. Like, I just have a feeling that there is a, a way for, there, there's a god that knows how to take her back. But because the water god is betrothed to her, and by the way, Subaru, like, what the fuck? You're supposed to go back to her, like, what the shit? And the water god's probably, like, thinking, shit, did, did my spell not do her job, do its job? Because, like, at the end, if you look at the final panel, like, the water god's standing there looking at her, like, looking like, what the fuck, Subaru? He's, like, thinking, like, what the fuck? Did my spell not do its job? But I'm just thinking, like, there's got to be something that I'm missing here. That us as the manga, uh, us, thus as the, eh, us as the reader is missing. There's got to be a way back. And I have a feeling that the gods are hiding something. And the other thing that and I hope we get to discuss it this weekend is that, like, he, she is still tied to him, period. And I'm curious what's going to happen is, because I have a feeling she's still immortal. I got a feeling that Asa Asashi is, immortal, is going to become immortal in a way. She'll become immortal. She will be. Because she is the water god's betrothed. And I don't know if, like, Subaru's going to be, like, her concubine eventually. I, I don't know how this is going to work. This is going to be fucking weird. But anyway, I can't wait to talk about this um, this weekend. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the uh, comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to be a part of the Nerdigans Inc. expansion... There's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. And um, make sure you follow me on the Twits, with, aka Twitter. Um, friend, uh, follow me on uh, Twitch because pretty soon I'm going to be doing some streams on there. And friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, everything's in the description box, by the way. And um, until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!